Hi everyone, thank you for watching. This is your girl Empress Charm. Today we'll be doing pipe pina curls and a mini cut. So before the cut, so we'd have my husband trim the ends. So this is it. everyone welcome to my channel this is your girl Empress Charm and today we're uh, as promised I would do my formerly go-to style and uh, that's pipe, clean, pipe cleaner curls so this is prior to babies and prior to my second child this used to be my go-to style so what well, what I use to make these curls is the popular pipe cleaner so this is what it looks like but before I twisted it to have it look like it looks something like this they call pipe cleaners because they use it to declog like your sink yeah but you oftentimes use it to do for those who have um, locks and they use it often that's what this is one of the method you can use to have nice buncy curls and then you fold it depending on the length here now as you saw earlier in my video that I cut my locks it was tailbone length and this um, this morning I had my half jaw wash I had my husband cut it so because you know after you it is good to trim your ends your lock the end of your lock sometimes because it allowed to grow fresh and healthier and some of the ends needed to go so what I'm doing is just some quick go to. So what I usually do with the pipe cleaner is I bend, depending on the length of your lock, I bend a portion of it and then I twist, twist just to start. So here, for I like when my hair is not too groomed for these curls because it makes it looks a lot bouncier I'm just using red it's just a regular water um, it was um, something that I used to use in my hair for stronger roots it said coconut oil the Palmer's coconut oil but that's not what's in it no I just mix up some uh, peppermint and a, a oba and uh, um, I don't remember the other oil in it I think peppermint and oba and castor oil a little bit of that and some water and just spray because my Talisha Wajid is done, so, and I haven't restocked, so. And then I just spray, and for my roots, I use my regular, um, my regular African Pride gel, because it's non-toxic, and it has all natural ingredients, so. I just put a section, it depends on how big you want it, some people like, to have do these real small with just a few locks but for me personally that's a no so I'm just doing the last few because I already started as you can see so I just want to have and remember this is the front of my hair so I'm not doing putting much pressure on my roots because it's now getting better so I washed with the I washed with with the um, the hair thinning shampoo and the head and shoulders for my scalp because it's winter even though it's not so much snowy or cold in the south but the winter is the wind the weather is bipolar in Florida so I'm just trying to do that I'm not gonna do much three twisting just a little bit of palm rolling but not so much just to um, smooth out the hair a bit and uh, then I'm going to show you how I achieve the palm, these nice pipe cleaner curls. Of course, I'm not going to take it down. I'm just going to show you because this style I have in for like a week, sometimes a week and a half, depending on the amount of time I get with my boys. So this one I just made, I'm going to start using this one 
to wrap it up. I'm going to tell this one is going to be a little bit thick, but that's how I like it. So yeah, I start from the bottom and I wrap the ends to secure that it have also that the ends also have curls down to the last tip. And then I just start rolling. So I just roll and you just keep rolling it and kind of use your fingers to, you know, it's like you're doing the regular perm rod. Oh, of course, that's my son there. That's why I can only show you how to do a few. And you're rolling it all the way up to the top or to the root rather. And then you secure the root. So as you can see here, And then afterwards, I, if you notice, I left, I left out a little tip here. And then I just use that to secure the end so that it doesn't fall out. I usually keep these in like for uh, a week or a week and a half. Then I pull these down. So this is technically one style and I'll style this style that you're looking at too sometimes i'll just catch up the back and just have the front out like a bob and you can wear it as, it's technically three styles in one very flexible and you can verse very versatile you can style it in many ways